Welcome back guys. In this video I'll be making a new handle for my two posts on my lathe. That's a good one! Yeah. Alright, so what do those objects have in common? You guessed it. Ingenuity, time spent and blood, sweat and tears. <laughs> Anyways, here's the two post handle screw thingy bob on my war code WM180. I am not liking this one bit for many reasons. One, this is too short. Every time you want to do it, it just hits you in there, especially if it's really tight. Also, I've seen people break them and it's already quite loose. Also, the angle. I don't really understand why it needs to poke like that. I would want it to be a little bit lower. I mean, I honestly don't see anything in the way or for any really good reason why it's supposed to be that high. Maybe, maybe if this thing is here, but still, like I said, I want it to be a little bit high, but also you don't really change tools when you're that close, so it's not gonna hurt. We can remake this thing. Essentially, it's just a nut. So it's M10 threaded, um, similar design like that, maybe slightly higher, so it actually clears and then we can actually make instead of M6 which is I think a little bit too small why have M6? We can have M8 I have stainless steel rod we can turn down its 9.5 mil diameter and we have this, I think this will look good uh, golf ball I found on the golf course when we were walking with my daughter um, could have a nice feel. If it's too big, I'll replace it with something else. Um, all right, so let's go. All right, first thing first. Let's have a look what's inside. Because we need to glue this in for the thread, because I don't think you can actually thread it. So we need an insert. This is M8. Um, I need a harder one, actually. I think this is going to be harder. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's have a look what's inside. <laughs> huh, it's quite solid. I wonder if I can just press it in without actually gluing it. Yeah, small grooves I'm sure I can press it in my bench vise epoxy let's pre-mix some epoxy so while we're turning all the other bits it will have a chance to dry also what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a bolt on one side because when we press it I don't really want epoxy getting on the inside of the thread so I don't have to clean it. Okay, we're in. All right, let's just wait. I'll clean it afterwards when it's done and it should be, should be good. So this can wait, set it aside. Next step, we need to make this. Diameter is almost irrelevant, 20. 20, so we can literally just clean this up. Height is 26. We can actually make it 30. Why not, right? So that way, even if it's going to be at a different angle, it'll still be slightly higher, so not touching this. So we're making it 30. And then, there's not really that many measurements, really. We can just do freehanded. Freehanded! Love the freehanded.
let's rotate the headstock and see what angle we can achieve so Okay, that's nice if you ask me. Needs a little bit of polishing, but now we need to do cut the thread on the shaft. Stainless steel is a royal pain in the ass. It took me two hours now to, to make those threads. It's so tough, or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I tried on the thread cutting setting. I tried with a die. Just would not cut. Okay. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I've made a handle. It's not the prettiest of things, but it will serve the purpose. Slight angle. It's longer and it's pretty cool that it's a golf ball also. That's recycling. The wife always tells me, ah, you hoarder, you collect things, you know. I recycle them. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. It's hardly a tutorial, um, I'm such a newbie. I'm basically just showing you what I've done. So yeah, take it with a pinch of, a pinch of salt. Uh, do it your own way if you want to repeat something like this. Um, but yeah, until the next one, bye.